Welcome back. Don't miss this exciting show featuring some furry friends. The Alabama Task Force One K-9 Team Showcase is tomorrow at the Explorium. We've got Josh here and Rachel, and we've also got Jesse. Yes, ma'am. Jesse is so sweet, and Jesse is actually your dog. Yes, ma'am, he is. That's your baby. So I want yes. to talk about this fun event that we've got coming up at the Explorium tomorrow. Tell our folks at home who aren't familiar with it what it's all about. All right, so we've got um, basically the Alabama Task Force One Canine Unit Search and Rescue. Uh -huh. um, they're coming out tomorrow. Um, from 11 to 1. They're going to showcase all the things that they do to train the dog, some of the exercises they do, and talk a little bit about each individual dog that are going to be out there. Yeah. And it all ties into the IMAX film we have right now, Superpower Dogs. It's all about search and rescue and service animals. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want to talk about Jesse specifically. Beautiful yeah. pup we've got here, <laughs> and he's just so well-mannered. Now I want to talk about these canine dogs and kind of the process they go through. Mm -hmm. So, um, what we typically look for for search and rescue, you know, right. therapy dog, service dog, everybody has their own characteristics they look for. But we look, what we look for is what's called high drive. We look for a dog that they are hyper focused on one thing. Uh -huh. Usually it's toys or food. Jesse's a food hound. He loves a tennis ball, but oh. he will do anything for a steak, <laughs> just like his mom. And we look for dogs that, that do that. They'll ignore everything else out there for that toy. And uh -huh. that's what we use to train them. We use that reward, that toy or that food, whenever they find their person or whatever it is they're trained to find, they get that. It's their wow. paycheck. Right. So your steak is coming, my friend. Yes. <laughs> now, I want to talk about what they will be doing tomorrow. So what will our friends at home be able to see them do? I know they'll be kind of in action a little bit. Yes. So in addition to searching, a search and rescue dog has to have a whole bunch of different skills. Yeah. They have to be obedient. They've got to listen you listen to their owners when they give commands, you know, sit down, basic obedience. They have to have agility. Um, so we'll have dogs climbing ladders tomorrow, wow. just super neat. Um, they've got to go through, you know, in dark, scary places like tunnels. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got to be able to climb things, you know, whatever they have to do to get to their person that may be buried. You know, a building collapsed and someone's buried and we don't know if there's anybody alive in there. Uh -huh. That's what we use the dogs for. Wow. Um, and so we'll show you guys that and we'll show you, again, their obedience some emergency skills you know if we have to stop a dog in the tracks while in there on the search because mm -hmm. a car is coming you know we'll get to show you guys all of those little things that just make up a search dog that is going to be a lot of fun and do remember it's the Explo it's at the explorium tomorrow so you've got to go check it out also you can go check out the IMAX, IMAX film yeah. after that guys thank you so much for coming thank thanks for bringing Jesse along of course. so sweet and so well mannered so you can go see him tomorrow Michael yeah. and Eric